everybody. God bless you. Hey, have you been checking your fruit today? Have you allowed the Holy Spirit to manifest the characteristics of himself in you? You know, the fruits of the Spirit is, is found in Galatians 5, 23, but the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Or the fact is that as believers, Christ has given us a commandment in John 13, 34, which says, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. And it's very important for us to bear the fruits of the Spirit and follow the commandment of Christ because when I look at our history and when I look at the present day situation, even what's going on with Ukraine and Russia, Russia is born up in a, a civilized country, that, that industrialized country, and saying, we want to reestablish our old empire, the old Soviet Union. We want to bring back the glory of what we considered the greatest empire. Maybe, I don't know if the greatest empire, but an empire. And not giving those people the right to choose, but to submit to the rule of somebody else. Not giving them a choice. And just remember, Christ gives us a choice. God gives us a choice. The fact is that these things of past empires or when we took a look at uh, discrimination and we talk about trying to protect the social status so that it's okay to, to discriminate against somebody because they're not in the same social status that I have. Check your fruit because the bottom line is the kingdom of God wants you to love one another because it's the kingdom of God and it's the commandment of Christ and it's the characteristic of the Holy Spirit. You know in Matthew 12, 33 it says either make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt, for a tree is known by his fruit. What are you known by? Protected your social status? Because of man? And you know, in 1 John 13, I mean 3 15 says, Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life or bias in him. Hereby we receive the love of God, because he laid down his life for us. We ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. That's God's way. That's the kingdom of God's way. And I look at this too. I look at it. Mark 8, 35 says, For whosoever shall save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake in the gospel, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Do you want to gain a social status and lose your soul? Do you want to hate somebody for a social status and not have eternal life, check your fruit today. You ought to love one another. Amen. God bless you.